And welcome into another Red Hawk Report. We're joined by Kobe Williamson of Men's Basketball. Kobe, thanks for hanging out with us right after basketball practice. Yeah, no, of course. Good to be here. It's great to have you as always. This is year what, four now already. It feels yeah. like it's not been that long, but four years already on campus. What's coming into the fourth year been like for you? Um, it all goes so quickly. It's, I mean, the same focus every time, just trying to get better, uh, working on that three, working on the inside, and really just that team focus this year. So not much has really changed, to be honest. I will say the inside game has seemed to come a long way. It seems like you've really bulked up and really wanted to have more of a back-to-the-basket presence. Was that something you wanted to do coming in this year? Um, yeah, I mean, I've definitely always had it. I just think I've never really used it. Um, and with the people we have this year, I think I've just had a uh, nice opportunity for it and made the most of what I can do, so it's worked out well. You're one block away from being the all-time blocks leader at a university that's had a lot of great big men over the years. Was that something you would even imagine? Like, hey, I'm going to come in and be an all-time blocks leader at this Division One school? No, it's definitely not a thought I had. I mean, to be all-time in anything is pretty cool, but it's no something that never crossed my mind. And I wasn't even aware of it till I think like this year, till someone pointed it out. So I had no clue this whole time. Does that? What is it about you that can get the blocks? Because it's not like you're jumping trying to out jump someone and block them. It seems like you're really to the ground and just play straight up. What's your mentality on the defensive side? Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, no one likes being scored on, so I guess it's just tracking it with my hand and doing the best I can to stop that ball going in the basket, and it just happens for me. You also, up across the board, shooting percentage, talked about the three-point. Is that, what, what's changed this year? Is it more confidence in the shot? What is it that's making that three ball fall? I think maybe just trusting the work um, and then being a bit more selective with my shots too. So I think just taking a uh, good for great type mentality, uh, I think that definitely helps a lot too. So We talked with your coaches about, you know, what's some fun things we could bring up with Kobe. First thing that came up was your dog. Let's yeah. talk about your dog. I even saw you guys riding around with your truck. Yeah. Tell us about your dog. Uh, well, his name's Jenga. He's one year old and he's probably my best friend at the moment. We do everything together. I mean, I bring him to class when I can. Uh, he's really my right-hand man, and he's awesome. Is that why everybody loves you on campus, because you bring your dog? <laughs> I think so. I mean, I don't know. I didn't even know they loved me, but it's, it's nice to know that. I think, I, I'm pretty sure everybody on campus loves Kobe Williamson, but you also talked about the truck, and Coach Vic said there was a time last year you might have gotten stuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that. Uh, well, Brody and I, we decided, I decided to take him up to the hills and show him a bit of forward driving, off-roading. Um, we went to the back of the mountain. It was a nice day down down uh, at the bottom of the mountain, didn't think there'd be any snow. Um, came a bit ill-prepared, got to the back side of the mountain and uh, just got stuck, couldn't get the truck out. And we had to spend the night there and then go searching for help the next day. So it created a bit of a panic since we didn't have service, couldn't tell anyone. But You just walked? Uh, yeah, we ended up walking about a mile or two to find someone, Jeez. but uh, it was just a bit of fun, good memories. Yeah, I, I was going to say, it's obviously a great story to tell here. Another cool thing that just happened to happen, really, your mom's in town she and is, she yeah. just got into town, right? What's it like having that, obviously being from Australia, what's it like being able to have family here? Uh, best thing ever. I mean, family's number one and always has been. So having mum out here is it's always good fun. I mean, I don't have to do the cooking anymore, so that's, that's a plus. <laughs> um, I had to tidy up the house a bit, so I had to do a few more chores, but no, it's always good having her around. That's awesome. We'll get you out of here on this. We talked about this is year four. You have another one as well. What do you want the legacy of Kobe Williamson to be once you finally hang up the Red Hawk jersey? Well, uh, I haven't really thought about that. Probably just being an all-around good teammate. I just want to make my, my mates and teammates better players and just come out of here as a better player. Uh, hopefully play professionally and just keep it going. But, yeah. We'd love to see you, Kobe. Well, thank you for joining us no, here on the Red you. Hawk Report. And uh, let's go get that block.